Hi, Aaron here, doing what I do best, chatting about teaching kids in front of a camera. Today I'm going to talk about my top five reasons about why I like teaching kids. Today I'll be talking about why I am a teacher and why on earth you would want to be one. Number one, guys, it's fun. It's fun. Really? The day-to-day -day teaching of kids, especially the little ones, is literally fun in games. My classroom is always full of laughing and singing and dancing, storytelling, costumes and acting. These are what all of my classes look like regardless of the student's age or level of English. Partly because these are things that I like to do and partly because these types of lessons are engaging and help students retain information. Number two, seeing growth and results. Having kids go on and do great things, this is probably the most rewarding part of the whole career. You will be rewarded. The longer I'm in this profession, the more I get to witness kids getting better and better at language and growing from kids to teenagers to adults. Now the school I work at is an English immersion school and watching kids come in at age three or four with no English at all and going to speaking fluently with a large vocabulary is incredible and brings me so much happiness. Now last week I was doing Halloween lessons because you know I practice what I preach. Ooh, Aaron here, wishing you a happy spooky Halloween. <laughs> and I had this activity where I was like, boys and girls, look around. We're at Hogwarts now. We're not at school. We're at a cool school, Hogwarts. And you have a magic wand, and I want you to think of a magical spell, a new spell that does anything you want. And this little boy comes up, Mr. Aaron. Yes, Arseny? My magic spell is photosynthesis. What does it do? It turns you into a plant. <laughs> So let's try photosynthesis. Hi, Aaron here. Love and life is a plant. Man, this global warming sucks. <laughs> now, I used to teach music at a school in a literal jungle in India. No joke, there was a leopard loose on campus for like a week and we had to keep all the kids inside. I worked with high schoolers and middle schoolers and one of my favorite things was coaching a funk band. Now that was almost five years ago, but I still get to talk to some of them and it makes me so happy and proud to see what they're doing and that some of them are still doing music. One of them plays in this weird underground rap rock thing in like these clubs in Chicago and I'm like, I was a part of that. I helped do that. I taught him music. Seeing kids grow from like little itty bitty babies to like old adults who are playing in rap clubs is, is something to think about. Number three, shaping positive youth experiences. Another big thing I love about this profession is having the potential to create and facilitate meaningful and fun and hopefully educational experiences for kids. Now, if you think back to the teachers you had and some of the most memorable classes or field trips, you'll remember the teachers who taught those classes and the teachers who organized those field trips. And I think that it's really neat and really cool to be a part of those experiences for kids. When I worked in Mongolia, I was a part of a group that organized an English summer camp for kids. Kids had English classes throughout the day, but also had swimming and movie nights and hide and seek and capture the flag and all the things you'd expect at a summer camp. And still to this day, one of the kids from the summer camp, his name is Elfbuk Saikhan. You got a great memory. Oh, man. Messages me every one or two years on Facebook and asks if I'm coming back to Mongolia. And he says, remember that summer camp? Oh, that was the best summer ever. And he says, whenever I'm back in Mongolia, to give him a ring. Number four, constantly growing and learning. Let's face it. Regardless of what you're teaching, you're never done learning. Every day and every class keeps you on your toes. Now, whether you're looking for new materials for a class or improving your language, or in my case, I'm always practicing the piano. <laughs> Your knowledge is always growing and expanding. When I was working in the US, some of my students were refugees from Iraq. They spoke English really, really well, but they had a really hard time with their reading and their writing. I eventually found out that they couldn't read or write in Arabic, their native language. And y'all know what? Surprise me. If a person can't read or write in their native language, it's way, way harder to learn to read and write in a second language. So what did Mr. Aaron do? Mr. Aaron taught himself Arabic and he taught those kids their Arabic book fee. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Number five, community. 
The last thing I love about being a teacher is being part of a team. Working with other teachers and directors and parents is not only helpful for the development of the kids, but also helpful for the development of professional skills. Now, once upon a time, I was a waiter. And once upon a time, I worked in an office. And, well, once upon a time, when I was 16, I worked at a McDonald's. No big deal. The environment in these places left something to be desired. There wasn't a community. Everyone was just about coming in, doing their work, and going home, making a little bit of money, maybe. A school isn't like that. Working alongside peers who are passionate about education and about kids, you know? Having experienced people help you who you can approach and say, hey, what do I do with this kid? Or what do I do about that? Working as part of a team that all wants the same thing is awesome. And at the end of the day, that's the actual best thing about teaching. It's the kids. Do you like teaching young learners? Tell me in the comments. Why do you do or why you don't? It's not for everyone. And why did you decide to be a teacher? I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sky Teach. Click the bell. Check out our community section. We post interesting things there, including fun facts about me. See you later. Hi, it's Aaron here. How are you doing today? Today, okay. You start drinking and you forget everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I sold my soul to the devil and now I speak Russian. Ah.